Radford City Schools bell schedule could be changing again just a week after announcing a new change. 10 News first told you about that new bell schedule change last week, which sparked concerns from parents. And tonight, some of those parents went before the school board. 10 News reporter Connor Dietrich explains how this led to possibly yet another change. A new bell schedule for Radford City Schools is on the table once again. The school board has asked Superintendent Robert Graham and his staff to look into other options for bell schedules for the next school year, less than a week after already making changes. Those changes included pushing back start times for all schools, as well as having a delayed start for elementary schools on Wednesdays and Thursdays. The goal of the new schedule was to allow teachers like Jessica McMurray have more time for planning. When the possibility of two delayed start days came up, I breathed a sigh of relief. Mr. Graham and Ms. Denny and our amazing administrators have been in the trenches with us. They see the struggles we are facing on a daily basis. They have seen our tears. They have heard our frustrations. But some parents like Anna Gatiss felt like when teachers were heard, others weren't. We feel, uh, myself and other parents included, feel that there was not enough further investigation done to take into consideration the families that work, the families that have to transport their children into school as well. Gatiss also feels the district did not make a decision supported by results from a survey sent out to parents and some Radford City School Board members agree. I think the teachers need their time. I want them to have their time, but I'm also hearing parents come to me and say this is going to be a really major strain on their family. Ultimately, the board voted to go back to the drawing board to find a solution that gives teachers the planning time they need while also not having such a sporadic schedule for students and parents. As far as a deadline, it is yet to be determined. In Radford, Connor Dietrich, 10 News, working for you.